Tis the season to spread the joy of board games to other gamers and curious newcomers alike. Hey there, it's the Yo from Geeky Gamer Guy. This year, a lot of amazing board games have come out. As much as I'd love to show you all of them, I have selected the top five games you need this Christmas. Now let's get started. First up, we have the two to four player city building game Quadropolis. Over the course of four rounds, players compete for structure tiles on a 5x5 grid to add to their own personal 4x4 city grid. Structures include things like shops, parks, and factories. Each structure will give you some sort of points at the end of the game. Just like real life though, structures have a cost involved for you to benefit from them. The player with the most points in the end wins! The game is simple to learn but has tons of strategy. The great thing is that it comes with rules for two different modes of play, allowing you to play with gamers and non-gamers alike. So strap on your hard hat and build the best city. From the same people who created the popular comic Cyanide and Happiness comes a new card game where players compete for the best punchline to a hilariously awful comic strip. That game is the 3-10 player party game Joking Hazard. This game is sure to be a hit with people who love Cards Against Humanity. Play is simple. Each player draws 7 cards, then you draw a card from the deck to start your strip. Next choose somebody to be the judge to play the second card. Then everybody chooses a card to be the final twisted punchline. Judge chooses the winner, rinse and repeat to your group's content. It has so many combinations because each card can be in each position of the strip making it so no comic is alike. Now that everyone is warmed up, it's time to get our bluff on. This time around I'm talking about the dramatic social deduction party game for 5 to 10 players, Secret Hitler. In this game set in 1930s Germany, players will assume the roles of either liberals or fascists. And among those fascists, one of them will be Hitler. Every round, a new president and chancellor will be elected to enact policies to further the liberals to victory. Problem is, the policies have both liberal and fascist ones in the deck. So either one or both of your elected officials are fascist, or they just had a bad draw. Liberals want to enact five liberal policies, or find and kill Hitler to win. Meanwhile, fascists want to enact six fascist policies, or elect Hitler as chancellor after three policies have been played. This game will have you questioning who's who till the very bitter end. It wouldn't be me if I didn't include some sort of horrific game on the list. This time I'm talking about the one to two player game, up to four players with two base sets, Arkham Horror, the card game. In the game, you and your other friendly investigators will work together to unravel the mysteries of the quiet New England town of Arkham you'll be faced with rich plots and scary monsters. The base set includes four adventures with more already on the way. Since this card game is an LCG, living card game, expect to get a regular flow of new adventures and cards to beef up your customizable decks. As if that weren't already enough, the game is meant to be played as a campaign, allowing your actions to carry over for future games and unlocking experience points to level up cards in your customizable deck. Can you stop the evil before it stops you? Last but not least, we have a Celtic themed dudes on a map game for two to four players. That game is Innis. Over a series of rounds, players will draft cards, move their clans to control territories, and battle other players to take advantage of that territory's special ability. All of this is in hopes of becoming the king of the island by achieving at least one of three win conditions. The gameplay is solid, but what puts it over the top is the gorgeous art on everything from the board to the cards. It's a Celtic fantasy. That's it. This list will give you and your friends hours of holiday cheer. What game are you wanting under the tree? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't done so already, I'd love it if you would subscribe. Until next time, stay geeky, keep gaming.